I think many people would be surprised that somebody protesting wouldn't be making those very small changes in their own personal life whilst protesting to try and make massive changes in, in the government. Why should we care about these things that are happening to the planet? Historically, this discussion has always been about like future generations and so on, but I'm just under 30 years and I feel like my future personally is uh, in danger. I'm not saying that everything will be on fire, but I'm saying that society will be a lot more unstable if we don't act now. It's fair to say that this this movement is not only for, for the people, are you also standing for the other animals? Is this also a movement for the, the wildlife and, and the other animals on the planet? Yeah, it is for a lot of people. It is that I see it as us being dependent and that humanity being dependent on a lot of natural systems that we are destroying. Dependent on a lot of things that maybe we don't understand even yet that are happening in nature. Yeah. And that's why I'm worried. A lot of people with a similar mindset to you that really do care about the animals and care about the nature and obviously how we are codependent, I think the word is codependent, they go vegan for that reason, a lot of people. Is that is that the case with yourself and the people here or do you have a different take on that? I'm not a vegan myself, a lot of people are in uh, Extinction Rebellion. We want to take the discussion away from what should you do when you go to the supermarket to what should we do collectively? What should the government do? Do you find there's any hypocrisy in, in, in funding the things that are causing the problem whilst trying to get the government to change the things that are causing the problem? I mean, it's kind of funding the cause of the issue whilst trying to change the, uh, the issues. Almost everyone in our society is sort of a hypocrite. We are kind of living in a system where we make decisions that are against our values, like almost continuously. It's really hard to be part of society. Well, let's say without using plastic, how could you be, how could you do anything? It's not up to the individual, but mm -hmm. we must change together because we are social animals. Would you say that it would be a problem for, let's say a, a Black Lives Matter activist, another big movement right now globally, right? So Black Lives Matter activist, let's imagine they're a white person, they go out and they protest and they, they march with all the, all the other people and then they go home and they, they're acting like a massive racist and, and doing things that are clearly racist. That would be, that would be a hypocrisy, right? Or, or would you say that their individual actions don't matter, it's actually their group action that matters as a community? How would you see it in that sense? No, I do see that the individual action matters and especially when it's about like respecting other individuals and, and things like this is very important. Respecting other individuals, right? That's literally what it is when someone goes vegan. So do you, do you think there's maybe a hypocrisy there in, in Extinction Rebellion activists who are contributing to these, these things that are actually part of the problem and that aren't, aren't vegan while protesting to try and change the things that they're contributing to. Do you follow me here? Am I making sense? Yeah, I, I, I totally see what, what you're trying to say. And, and personally, I feel like I want to consume in a more sustainable way. I always cannot. I'm sometimes I go shopping, I'm tired, I want something convenient. But it's a valid criticism too. If someone's going to go to the streets and protest, I'd say they better have made their bed, if that makes sense. You know, you've got to make your own bed before telling others to go make their bed, right? I think that is a valid argument. But on the other hand, I think that in the public conversation right now, it's people take it a bit too far. It's almost impossible to live sustainably and being part of this society. I could choose to go live in the countryside, try to be self-sufficient and so on, but then I would lose the ability to to be protesting. If you want to be a part of, of mainstream society to make a change, going living in the forest isn't going to help that. Whereas simple, what well, you mentioned earlier, consumer decisions in a supermarket, these are simple decisions we can make every single day, three times a day. Voting with the dollar, voting with the euro is something we can do. I think many people would be surprised that somebody protesting wouldn't be making those very small changes in their own personal life whilst protesting to try and make massive changes in, in the government. I think they would, they would find a bit of a disparity, you know? You, I see what you mean totally. I, I wish I could just do better choices and I'm trying but I also want to say that we are not like saints like we are normal people it's okay to demand change even if you're not perfect yourself Absolutely. I totally, yeah, totally. Not about perfection, but I would say there's definitely, uh, there needs to be some efforts, some big efforts made. I mean, it's not about perfection. Nobody can be perfect, right? But definitely some, some, some 
you know, some real efforts in, in our personal lives would, wouldn't, wouldn't hurt the cause, would it? Not at all. I totally agree. With Especially when, when we're talking about most vegans watching this will probably be screaming at the screen right now and saying like, but the animals there, they, are, they suffer, they die and you're trying to save them. But one of the easiest ways to save them is to stop eating them and stop eating their products, you know. I personally believe that the impact you could have would be even larger if it came from a place where you show that, hey, look, I've also made some pretty big changes in my own life and I'm going to call for change in a wi the wider society. We're, we're going to do it all. I find that to be extremely powerful. And on a personal level, that inspires me. I've met Extinction Rebellion activists who are vegans, who are doing everything they can within the constraints of our society to, to be as you know eco-friendly and, and make the change and demanding change. For me, that I think that I find that extremely powerful. And I have to admit, I find it a way more powerful than somebody who who doesn't do those things and and goes you know protests for change i personally find that to be a lot more inspirational and i hope maybe with uh this conversation has planted a few seeds for you and maybe you think about it a bit and i'll, I'll think about what you said as well appreciate it